Hello there and welcome. In this video, we're going to be answering the following problem. What is the limit as x approaches 0 for sine 5x over 2x? Well, let's just go ahead and put a 0 inside this and see what we get. Sine of 5, well, let me just write that out. Sine 5, and we, put a, we substitute a 0 inside there. It's just going to be sine to 0, essentially, which will give you 0. And the bottom one, 2, substitute a 0 in. It's going to be 0 over 0. And that is undefined. So in order to solve this, this particular problem, we can actually use the, well, I call it the hospital rule or the le hospital rule. Basically, it means whenever you have uh, similar situations to where you have 0 over 0 or like uh, there's another one is positive or minus infinity over positive or minus infinity, anything like this, anything or to any two situations that are similar to this, you can use this rule and you can solve that particular problem by, let's say it's going to be finding the derivative of f of x or the, the top term divided by g. I guess I shouldn't say f of x. It's basically f over the derivative of the bottom term. I'll just write the x in, in there. It doesn't really matter. So what is the derivative? All we need to do then is find the derivative of the f term. In this, uh, this little um, function here, the derivative, or rather the f term, is actually going to be sine f of x. And the g term is the bottom one. So just remember that this is f, and 2x is equal to g. Let me just erase this part here. Actually, let me just put that off to the side, right over there. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and solve this, this or get the derivatives for this particular problem here. So we're actually going to uh, do a shortcut for to finding the derivative of f, which is this one here. We're going to use the chain rule. Chain rule is basically this. So I'll write it down off to the side. The derivative of f multiply just whatever g of x is is then multiply the derivative of g that's that's chain rule whenever you have that's just being where you have a function that's sort of similar to being a composite so what, what do i mean by that well in this situation we have sine of 5x we can think of that as a composite function as well that's why we're using the chain rule so this whole thing is called the chain rule so what is f in this situation? <laughs> We're going pretty deep into this thing. Um, the derivative of sine is going to be cosine, remember? So cosine. And that would be multiplied down here. You can see multiplies g of x. g of x in this little situation here is going to be 5x. So multiply just 5x. And then we can see on the chain rule, according to chain rule, the derivative of g is going to be multiplied to all this, to the g value in this particular sense is going to be 5x. The derivative of 5x is going to be, well, if you have 5x, it's going to the 1. You multiply the 1 to the front. That's just going to still be 5. But you also subtract 1 there, which will get rid of the x, meaning you're just going to be multi multiplying this entire thing by 5. Now, after all that mess is done, we finally got our little uh, derivative of the top part. But we're not quite done yet because we're using the, remember, the hospital rule. <laughs> rules upon rules, I know it gets confusing. But uh, once you gain some understanding, this video will make a, a lot more sense. Just um, you should practice with the chain rule quite a bit before you move on to using the hospital rule and such. Then you, yes. Yeah. anyways, moving on. What is the derivative of the bottom? Well, that's just going to be the derivative of 2x is just going to be 1, multiply the front. So it's still going to be a 2, then subtract 1, it's going to get rid of the x. So the derivative of 2x is going to be just 2. And now we've gotten rid of the situation where we would, we would have an undefined little um, function. So now what we can do is, let me just get rid of all of this here. Now we can say, what is the limit as x approaches 0 for this new little function we made? Well, if we substitute 0 in, Let's say for this x value here, put a 0 inside there. It's just going to be 0 times 5. That's going to be 0. Cosine of 0 is going to be 1. 1 multiply 5 is 5. So the limit as x approaches 0 for this function here 
is just going to be 5 over 2. And that's our final answer. So to just go over everything we did, first we recognized that we this little function, the original one, it was undefined. We couldn't get anything with it. It was going to be either 0, 0, or positive and negative infinity over positive and negative infinity. In our case, it was 0 over 0. So we knew that we had to use the hospital rule in order to solve this particular problem. And that the hospital rule is right here. First, we have to find the derivative of f, which is going to be the top term, divided by the derivative of g, the bottom term. So we just have to find the derivatives of f and g. So the first step was to find the derivative of f. Well, f is sine 5x, and we found the derivative by using the chain rule that got us cosine 5x multiply 5. Then we, we just found the derivative of g, and that would be 2. After that, we just solved, um, solved the function by substituting 0 in as x, and we found the limit. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will uh, work my best to answer your questions, and I do hope you're having a fantastic day.